Introducing the Fifine AM8 gaming and streaming microphone. This is an affordable, diverse microphone that has some excellent features for its price range. This was sent out for review by Fifine, but that does not affect my thoughts or opinions. It's currently available on Amazon for $59.99 in the UK at the time of recording. It's also available in white and pink. There is a slight price difference for the white and pink. It's just a pound or a dollar or two each way. It has impressive ratings with a 4.8 out of 5 stars with 49 reviews. Most of them being five stars. So let's take a look for ourselves and see if I can actually upgrade my microphone. Okay, so we're met with a well-presented branded box. We have quite a few cool features with the dynamic mic capsule, the original detailed voice, RGB and volume controls. We're greeted with a quick start guide and we have a metal base that's circular. Looks like it has the industry standard mounting thread. Quite heavy and has a rubberized base, so it should hold the microphone nice and sturdy. Everything's well protected and padded in the packaging. The microphone is actually a little bit bigger than I expected. I think it looks good and it feels fairly well made although it is mostly a plastic construction you can also see the seam down the side but that doesn't bother me too much on the back of the microphone we've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack USB-C port and an XLR port we've also got this diffused ring around the back this is for the RGB We've also got the hinge which gives us some tilt action so you can adjust the microphone to be in the correct position. The microphone stand is metal but the threads are plastic so just be careful not to over tighten them. On the side of the microphone we've got a microphone icon which glows up green. It also goes red when you tap to mute, we'll look at this feature shortly. The pop filter feels really good quality, it's a thick foam with like a velvet feel to it. It's quite firm so it should do a decent job at preventing plosives. There's a metal cage protecting the dynamic cardioid capsule, which is the type of pickup used in this microphone. We've also got a touch button on the front there, the RGB. You just tap that to change through the colours. And then we've got a volume dial for your headphones and also a volume dial for the microphone. I'm very impressed with this so far, it looks pretty good. It also includes a USB-C lead. It's not a braided cable or anything, it's just a generic generic rubberized USB-C lead, but it is a decent quality one and it is quite long, which is good to see. For mounting, we can use the base that comes with the microphone. This is just really simple, you just literally screw it on, or you can use your own boom arm or get a boom arm for this. It is the industry standard thread, so any boom arm should fit this without any issues. Okay, let's take this over to the PC then and start testing. It is a plug and play microphone so you simply just plug it straight in, your PC should recognise it right away which means it's very convenient and easy to set up, no troubleshooting or any issues to deal with, it's very very user friendly. The RGB also looks very good, it's diffused well and there's around 7 or 8 colours that you can choose from, you can just select whatever suits your setup. I like to leave everything on rainbow by default. On the top of the microphone, we've got the tap to mute feature. This is a very handy feature for if you're live streaming or if you're doing voiceovers and things like that and you need to quickly mute your microphone for any reason. This one is a personal preference thing, but I do prefer personally to use a boom arm. I feel like it gives me a better range of movement. It also has a few other benefits like lifting the microphone off the desk so it's out of the way. It also helps eliminate any unwanted sounds, so knocks and bangs from your elbows, mouse, keyboard taps, fans, etc. I also think we can access all of the controls a little easier when it's in the air. Like I said, I feel like we've got a better range of movement on a boom arm, although the stand that does come with this microphone is more than suitable. We'll move on to some audio testing now then, we're going to test the USB-C first, then we'll go with an XLR, and then we'll compare this to my other microphone to see if the audio quality is actually any better. I've got to admit, during editing, I did notice a slight difference in the audio quality. I think my voice sounds a little more natural through this microphone than what it does with the other microphones, and normally I need to add a little bit of something in processing to my voice to make it clear whereas this microphone I haven't done anything this is right out of the box okay so this is the audio test for the Fifine AM8 gaming and streaming microphone check mic check mic one two one two Okay, so now we're going to turn the volume down to zero. You probably won't hear me at zero. Well, I hope not. So we're going to go all the way down until we hit. 
then this is with the microphone at around 25%. This is with the microphone at around 50%. This is at around 75%. And then this is at 100%. We'll just turn that back down to around 60, somewhere around there. That should be perfect. And we can also adjust our headphone volume with the bottom dial. I personally didn't notice much of a difference between the XLR connection and the USB-C connection. However, I'm not using an audio interface here. I do recommend that you do use one as this will almost certainly improve your audio quality even further. The headphone monitoring, you just add an aux cable or you could even use your mobile phone headphones if you wanted to. But what I found was awesome, you can even switch your audio through the microphone. So if you're gaming and in chat with your friends or in Discord or anything like that, you can literally just switch your output to the microphone, which means all of your audio will come through the microphone's headphones. When you're using the microphone over XLR, you do lose the RGB unless you keep the USB-C lead plugged in. For me personally, I think the USB-C option is more convenient, although the XLR, like I said, it will improve the audio quality if you use an interface. One very small issue I did notice is that if you have the volume dials facing you on the microphone, then if you need to make any slight adjustments with your hands and stuff, you can sometimes accidentally mute the microphone without realizing that you muted. I imagine that could be a little bit of an issue sometimes. The input layout is clear and very user friendly. The overall build quality is decent. Although it's on the chunky side, I actually think it's quite nice. Guys, I've got to say this microphone is pretty good. I think this is our upgrade for now. I'm going to keep this as my microphone for the time being. You guys let me know in the comments if you think this does improve the audio quality or not. I do have one or two small little issues with this mic though. If we're using the XLR cable and the original stand that's included, we can't actually tilt the microphone round or we can't change the angle while the cables are plugged in. It's not a deal killer, but it's something to consider. Another thing I know noticed was these little mount bolts at the side here. They are made from plastic and although they are quite sturdy, I would much prefer them to be in aluminium or for them to have some little locking teeth or some way for them to be more secure. It is quite firm in general, but as you can see, when all the cables strapped into the back of the microphone, it does make it a little wobbly when you're trying to move. It's not quite as solid as I would like, but it is firm and it does hold position quite well. And finally, when you go to change the volume on your microphone, you may accidentally tap the RGB button. The RGB button is super sensitive, so you just need to be mindful of that really. The RGB has three modes. You can either cycle through static colors, you can have a cycle effect where it just switches between the colors automatically, or you can leave it on rainbow. You can alternatively turn the RGB off by holding the button down for around three seconds and then you turn it back on the same way, hold the button down for around three seconds. The microphone pickup is front facing on this microphone, so you do want it pointed towards you for the best results. We give it a massive thumbs up. I think this is an awesome microphone for the price. I'm gonna be using this for the time being. I will leave links down in the description. The Amazon links are affiliate links, so I will receive a small percentage of any sales those links generate, but I'm not linked to or sponsored by FiveFine in any way. This video is my personal and honest opinion. Guys, if you found any part of this video helpful or enjoyed any part of it, or just enjoy supporting small creators like me, please consider leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel we are not notifications on that way you never miss any future uploads thanks to each and every one of you guys for being here today i really appreciate you and until next time take care of yourselves and each other i'm craig this is really random reviews and i'll see you in the next video